All right, you guys, two days post Olympia. I'm finally having some time to sit down in front of the camera and give you guys a little update, a little wrap up of uh, my thoughts from this weekend. Um, it's been super busy out here, nonstop. Uh, just finished up a shoot this morning with VQ. So now like I'm done, I can enjoy the rest of the week. I got my whole family out here, my brother, all of his kids, my parents. So we're gonna be hanging out here in Orlando for a few more days and just you know, enjoying some family time to unwind a little bit. You know, this prep takes a lot out of me and you know, I'm so tunnel vision during prep. It's all I'm really thinking about or focusing about. And you know, I'm just thankful that my family understands, you know, how serious I take this. And you know, it's, I don't get to spend a lot of time with them during prep or enjoy any meals with them or, or do much because I'm always on schedule. So really enjoying this time. But um, taking the last few days to uh, take in what happened, you know, overall, you know, it wasn't a place in that I wanted. I didn't come here to take eighth place. You know, I came here to get my title back and win. And that's why I compete. And, you know, I, after pre-judging, when I realized I wasn't going to win the title this year, I was pretty disappointed. And, um, you know, I ended up going back up to my room and just trying to take some time to myself to collect my thoughts because I'd never been in that position. I'd never not been in the top four before. So it was just a different feeling this time around. And um, this whole prep is a bit about growing and, really trying to understand things that happen in your life. You know, I've, I've gone through a lot and I've gone through some things that I thought were terrible and were gonna destroy my life that I couldn't come back from. But, you know, during those times, during those struggles, like I was blessed with so many things and I learned so many valuable lessons along the way. And I learned that in life, not everything works out the way that you always want. And you can't let those things that happen to you the way that you don't want them to happen to you, destroy you. You gotta take a step back and look at it from a different perspective and try to understand the bigger picture and try to seek the good out of it. And throughout this whole process, you know, I've been seeing a lot of good come out of this prep. This whole Olympia experience is amazing. Being able to get back on into the press conference and be able to, you know, open up and say the things I needed to say to some to the crowd and to the audience all across the world. I know made an impact on a lot of people and I'm very fortunate and thankful to have that opportunity and uh, coming back to Olympia provided that. Um, going on stage and competing against the best guys in the world again and being able to hang, getting that first call out and finishing in the top 10, I'm proud of that because, you know, a year ago, not even a year ago, I didn't think I belonged on stage with these guys. It was a long shot. I didn't know if I possessed the potential at that time to ever get back to being a world-class physique competitor again. And I doubted myself a lot of this prep and I had to push through those, those doubts. I had to push through that voice in my head telling me I wasn't good enough every single day. And it wasn't until a few weeks out that I started to see things come together where I started to believe. And <clears throat> it was a really tough time during that prep when you don't really believe in yourself and you don't think you can do it. And I had to dig deep to push through those days that, you know, I didn't feel like I was good enough or my body hurt and I didn't want to go to the gym. And um, looking back, that's what I wanted to get out of this prep was that, that willpower, that, that desire again, the, of the fight again. I want to be able to fight against the things that are holding me back in life and to overcome those things. And that's what this prep represents. It's not backing down, it's not giving up on yourself. When things get tough, you don't quit, you push through, you endure, and um, you face it head on. And that's what I did this, this weekend at Olympia. After five years off of not knowing, I went into, went onto the biggest stage in the world, not really knowing how I was gonna stack up. And um, I did it. I got up there, I did my thing, and I'm proud. And I walk away from this Olympia knowing that I can be better. I wasn't 100% on stage. I didn't present my best package. It's no excuse, it's bodybuilding, it happens. But I know when I do figure out how to hit that peak perfectly on stage, 100%, I'm gonna be very hard to beat. So that leaves me with a lot of optimism coming into 2024. I'm hungry, I'm eager to get back in the gym and train, I'm eager to get better, and I want my title back. 2024, you're gonna be seeing a whole different animal, you know, now I got my feet wet again and I understand what it's going to take to, to win. 
I'm going to make the adjustments necessary, and I'm going to come back 2024 and uh, bring the best package I can. The fight for five continues. I want to thank a lot of people as well. I, I didn't do this alone. Of course, my family's first. My wife has been amazing. But I want to thank my sponsors, VQ. I want to thank Transcend, Flex Pro Meals, Swiss Nutrition, Father Sons, Get Me Goings. I want to thank all you guys for your support. A lot, of you, a lot of people didn't believe in me, but you guys did. And we're back to where we need to be and we're continuing to climb. And uh, I'm very grateful. Thank you for all my friends that came out to support me traveling all the way from the West Coast to Florida. That means a lot. And I thank you for all my fans that came out. You know, you guys made me feel really good when I was at Meet the Olympians and I had a line the whole time. Like it really made me feel good to know I had that support from you guys. So the best is yet to come still, you guys. I'm excited, I'm happy with everything and I'll be continuing to post more content for you guys on YouTube. We're not stopping here, it's only up. Thank you guys.